Declaration of Josh Richman. I, Josh Richman, declare as follows. I am over the age of 18 and not a party to this action. I have first-hand personal knowledge of the facts set forth below. I have known and considered Johnny Depp a friend for approximately 33 years. I attended Johnny's wedding ceremony with Amber Heard in the Bahamas on February 7th of 2015. It is a small island, and the number of wedding attendees was quite small. None of the few of Johnny's actual friends who attended were happy Johnny was marrying Amber, and we discussed it openly, the general views of his friends, which I have shared, although we hardly knew the full details then, were that Amber Heard emotionally abused and tormented Johnny, cut him away from his real friends, and was emotionally cruel to him. He always seemed to live in fear, a reason among others like it. One of the few specific incidents we knew in particular raised my and his other friends' concern. We, and certainly I knew from Johnny, that prior to the wedding on a night, they had an argument. Johnny recounted to me Amber went into the bathroom and came out with a Kleenex with red on it saying he had given her a bloody nose, but after the incident, he retrieved the Kleenex, which he says he still has to this day. Amber Heard had placed red nail polish on a Kleenex. It was incidents like this, of which friends knew only a fraction that made us concerned for his welfare and the marriage. Anyone who has known Johnny for a long time, or even briefly, would notice that he is a uniquely chivalrous, kind, and thoughtful person who treats every human being the same and is always being helpful to people and doesn't like to harm even the feelings of other people. I remember that Amber, her sister, and friends seemed inebriated or drugged out through much of the wedding weekend. The day before the wedding, Amber's friend and member of a wedding party, I.O. Tillett Wright, violently assaulted another member of the wedding party, Rocky Pennington during an argument about wedding details, and who was essentially going to assume the role of wedding planner now and carry out Amber's frivolous missives. They were all like a bunch of spoiled children acting out this charade of a wedding at the great expense of Johnny, whom we all knew was way more than coerced and shamed into proceeding with Amber's demand to be married before Johnny was to depart shortly to film abroad. Most all the wedding guests on this tiny island heard about this violent incident during the weekend. Unlike the rest of Amber's friends, I had found Io to be kind of clever and funny, and I got along well with him or her or whatever she's going by. After she, he, he got beat up by Rocky, a lot of guests were all hanging out at the bar, and I asked Io what happened. He, she, he, she laughed and said Rocky was being hysterical about wedding planning, crying and carrying on. He, she, he, she offered the facts gladly that she physically assaulted Rocky. Io was laughing and gloating about this incident now. I then gave Io a funny nickname based on the rapper ASAP Rocky. I slap Rocky. Many of the wedding guests and Io's girlfriend slapped Io. I slap Rocky for the rest of the weekend. Io was quite proud of this now and seemed to find it hilarious, like a badge of honor. Executed this day of November 2019, Los Angeles, California, I declare under the penalty of perjury under the laws of the United States of America, he and the state of Virginia that the foregoing is true and correct. Josh Richmond, a.k.a. Ronnie Seabock.